Good day. Um, today I'm going to give you a little run through on something I figured out in FreeCAD. I have been trying to do uh, multi-line signs that I can use on my 3D printer. And it was kind of confusing in how to make that happen. And I finally figured out how to make it all work together. So I'm going to show you the process that I've been going through to uh, print 3D signs. Um, so I'm going to start here. This is FreeCAD 18. And this is 16131. And I'm just going to create a new sketch, create a body, create a sketch on the XY plane base. And all I'm going to do is make a rectangle. Uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. I sometimes make them a little fancier than this. But what I'm doing here is I'm going to center the, the top of it. It wants me to get rid of five, so I'll do that. And then I'll center the side. Let's get rid of seven, so I'll do that. And so let's make this 60 millimeters long. And we'll make it 40 millimeters high. Okay, so I have a fully constrained rectangle there. I'm going to close that and I'm going to pad it. And I only want it two millimeters thick for the demo. So we'll make it two millimeters thick. So I have my rectangle here. Let's move that over. And now I want to put uh, a couple of lines of text or maybe three lines of text on that. So let's go to part design and switch to the draft workbench. And you want to click on the large yellow S here and that will allow you to create your first string of text so multi -line. now you can only enter one one line of text at a time which is um, not what I want to do I want to be able to add like two or three lines of text but we have to do it line by line so this is how it's how I've been doing it um, now, depending on the font that you use, this height here will the uh, this will create the height of the font, and you can easily reset it if you get it too big or too small. Anyway, so but I know that this font that I've been using is quite large, so I'm going to make that five millimeter. I'm going to find my font file. And I want to click the reset point, and I want to make the Z axis two millimeters. And I only did that because I want to be able to see my line of text above the surface of the rectangle. So I can position it. So now, um, under click on shape string and under the position under placement if you click the X you can use the down arrow key there to move it over sort of center it use the Y to move it up and there we have the first line of text so I'm going to add a second line here And I want to make it four millimeters just because. And gunplay, open, reset the point, make that two millimeters, and click OK. And again, under shapes, now you see I have two shape strings over here on the, uh, on the tree. So click shape string one under the X axis you can move that over 
and the Y. I want to move that down. Now I want to create a third line. Let's make it four millimeters as well. And the same font. Um, actually, let's make it Arial just because. Reset point, two millimeters. Now you're going to see the difference. Now you see how small that is. But first, let's move it. So I highlight shape string two. And then we can move that over, sort of in the middle, move that down. Now, the reason I selected this other font is uh, something about 3D printing that I'm going to show you. So let's increase the size of that to say six millimeters. There. Now we have to move it a bit more. Okay, so I have three lines of text in here, and what I want to do now is to move their z-axis points back to the zero, so click shape string, and reduce that two under the z to zero. You'll see it disappear off the screen, but it's not gone, it's just underneath the rectangle. And same for that. Shape string two. So if you flip that over, you can see that attached to the back of the rectangle now. Now, I want to extrude that. So let's go to the part workbench. And you can click control and select all three of those or however you want to select all three. You can select all three of those shape strings. And then under this blue button here, extrude a selected sketch, you click that. Because my pad, rectangle pad is only two millimeters thick, I'm only gonna make the text three millimeters high. I'm gonna create a solid, create apply, and click OK. Now you can see that the text has been extruded above the surface of the rectangle and you should be able to go under your mesh uh, workbench now create a mesh out of this shape and export it and then be able to 3d print that as a sign <coughs> now what I wanted to do was I wanted to create a two-piece sign um, a one color uh, face plate like a white face plate and like a dark blue back plate so that the text would show through the white face plate but in order to do that you have to be able to get rid of this text out of here um, oh back to this other thing first before it get carried away here you'll notice over here in the tree view you now have actually six extrudes but you've only got three lines of text. And for some reason, uh, FreeCAD decides to make a duplicate of all the initial extrude functions. Now you can get rid of those really, the extra ones really easy. Just press Control Z and that makes those extra extrudes go away. I don't know why they're there. Uh, they don't seem to do anything. Um, but as you can see, the extrudes are still there. They're still in place. So now back to what I was saying. Um, I want to make this face plate so that the, the text is, is cut out. And when I put the, the different colored back plate on my sign around the back of it, then those letters will show through the background color of the, the back, back plate. So they basically have a two colored sign. So in order to be able to cut them out, you need to combine these extrudes because FreeCAD will only allow you to cut one object. 
and each one of these extrudes is a separate object. So you can cut the first extrude, but you won't be able to cut the other two. So in order to do that, you highlight all three of those extrudes and you click this button on the icon bar. It's called make a union of several shapes. And when you click that, it combines those three extrudes into one object. Now you should be able to completely cut that text out. And how you cut text or cut objects in FreeCAD is you click the object you want to cut from. And then you want to click the object that you want to cut out. And then you go up here to the icon bar. You can see this blue and, and white uh, double circle. It says make a cut of two shapes. Click that. And away goes the text. And you have a see-through um, uh, text, text uh, rectangle. Now, something here I want to just uh, mention. If you're going to do something like this, um, you want to make sure you use some kind of a stencil font. Now, these first two lines are stencil fonts. The reason being, the stencil font has these connecting lines between the outside of the letter and the inside shape of the letter. Whereas regular fonts like this A, this P, and this E would all be printed as separate objects. And so when you take this off the build plate, those center pieces of those letters will stay, stay behind. And then you would have to place them individually back into each letter. Um, or glue them into place or do something like that. With the stencil font, it has connecting spots for the centers of the letters. And so when this is printed, it will also print these lines that connect the centers so that it all stays as one complete piece. So there's how I've finally figured out how to do a multi-line uh, sign for 3D printing. And I hope this helps people because it took me a while to figure out how to do this. And I have been uh, doing searches on Google and there was a lot of information there but nothing specific on how to make it work. So I decided now that I figured this out that I would present this and Hopefully you'll get something out of it. So I would like to thank you for watching. And um, maybe I'll come up with something else in FreeCAD that's difficult to do. And uh, I'll do a, a video on it. All right. So thanks again. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.